Hello everyone and welcome to Netball TV for the third and final round of Australia versus South Africa in the Australia South Africa series 2023. This is round three and as you probably already know Australia have won the series having won two games out of three so far. Before we start our analysis and highlights, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Netball TV, your Netflix of Netball. Let's get started. The series so far, Australia have dominated South Africa. First game, 62 goals to 43. Second game, 67 goals to 52. Let's see what the third game is going to bring for us today. If you've missed game one or game two, you can head over to our channel, Netball TV, click on our page and find the playlist for the South Africa versus Australia series and you'll find all the games there. So without further ado, let's get into the starting seven for Australia and South Africa. Starting on the left side, Australia, we see... Danelle Wallam and Kara Conan getting a start in the shooting circle, accompanied by Liz Watson, Paige Hadley starting at centre, Jamie Lee Price moving to wing defence, Sandy Aryang at goal defence and Brucey at the back. South Africa starting seven. We see no changes to her squad from the last game. Obviously, she was very happy. Quick shout out to the South Africa fans. We apologise for pronouncing some of the players' names wrong in the last game. And we thank you so much for pointing that out to us in the comments. We really, really appreciate it. And we send our love to the South Africa fans. All right, let's get into it. First quarter, Australia with the first centre pass. Australia here in possession. The Diamonds will want to take it easy just for the first few minutes while Wallum finds her feet with an amazing feed already. It's 1-0. South Africa have the second centre pass. What can they do here? Oh, that was almost a turnover there. Managed to keep hold of that one. Chiweni and Maseko moving the ball around nicely. That's a great swing to the other side. And finds Maseko. Oh, looking for Venta there, but she gets a penalty. Pass or shot. And it is one all. Conan. Oh, great feed there into Wallum right under the post. South Africa in possession here. Great ball into the pocket to Chiweni. She's looking for Venta. Gets a penalty, pass her shot over to Venter and a lovely shot from her. Two for two so far, Australia and South Africa just finding their feet. Very early days here, that was a penalty pass call. Conan puts it to the pocket, Wallum sticks a hand out, but Conan, beautiful drive around the circle. Oh, Courtney Bruce is out hunting, but she left Venter wide open for that penalty shot. And Venter held ball, she took too long to take the shot, so Australia turnover. Straight down the other end, lovely feed into Wallum. South Africa to Maseko, Chiweni. Oh, beautiful up to Venter. Nice connection between those shooters. Kara Conan gets a 1-2, makes her closer to the post. South Africa centre pass. Oh, there comes Brucey. She tried the first one, got the second one. Australia turnover. Oh, Pretorius unlucky there. She tried to get that tip. But it's another goal for Australia. They're sneaking ahead slowly. Four goal, now five goal lead. South Africa in attack. Nice screen for Maseko behind her. She'll get an easy shot on Danelle Wallum. The same on the other end. It's a five goal game here. Maseko just hopping around. Oh, that was great into Venter. Lovely movement by the attackers. And South Africa are in possession. Msomi finds the floor, but finds Maseko and little hop in. Gets her closer to the post. 12-7 to Australia. Oh, Sunday Ariang. Unlucky for her. Let's watch that one again. She gets a clean interception, but unfortunately she was out of court. So Venter going for the long range. Beautiful goal from her. South Africa trying their best to stay in this first quarter. Maseko finds Venter behind Courtney Bruce and gets another great shot. South Africa seemed to be closing that gap, but Liz Watson will try and stop them with a great feed and a beautiful dodge. Let's watch that attacking movement. Fakes and deep, deep, deep into the pocket. Beautiful movement from the wing attack. Puts her in a great space away from her opponent and gets a clean feed right the way into Wallum under the post. Just over five minutes left here, South Africa. Oh, Pretorius going for a long shot, but Courtney Bruce was there. And nice ball into Wallum. She kept hold of that one just about. 
Missed that shot. So it'll be South Africa with the rebound. What can they do with this turnover? Can they move that ball down the court and convert? Great speed so far, Venter. Oh, Sandy Aryan going for that, but left Maseko open. And the South Africa Proteus get a turnover. Oh, great, great run by Karakonin. Proteus in attacking. Venter going for a long shot there. Oh, and she missed, unfortunate for her. Australia get the turnover. Sandy Aryan with a nice feed into Wallum. Oh, and she goes again behind Pumzamoweni and Kara Conan takes the penalty. South Africa centre. They are nine goals down. Oh, and Australia turnover. Lovely movement by the attacker. So much speed in the attacking third. And finds Conan. She splits the landing and another great shot. A few changes here for South Africa. Pretorius moves to wing defence. Nicholas Smith comes in at goal defence. Obviously, Norma Plummer wants to shake it up a bit before the end of the first quarter. Let's see. Can they put more pressure on those Australian attackers? Oh, Pumzamoweni gets a nice call there. Back line to South Africa. They need to move the ball down the court. Two and a half. Oh, just a mistake there by Nicholas Smith. Maybe she needs to settle her nerves. Oh, great interception by Moweni. They get another chance, South Africa, to put the ball in the circle. And score. Oh, another mistake here. Unfortunate there for Chowini. But look at this, guys. Eight turnovers in the first quarter alone. That is very high already. Australia in attack. Wallum with a miss. Oh, unlucky there. Australia get the back line. So what can Kara Conan do? That was a great feed by Liz Watson into Conan. One minute left here. What can Venter do with this ball? They get a penalty pass outside to Maseko. She gets a good shot. Less than a minute left here. It is a 10-goal game. Australia leading. South Africa in attack. Venter finds Chouani. Oh, Sunday Aryan almost had that one. Back line to Australia, though. 20 seconds to get it down court. Aryan puts it out. So South Africa get another chance just five seconds left. Can she feed it up to Venter? Oh, she was out of court there. So it's the end of the first quarter. Australia lead 22 goals to 11. So into the second quarter we go. Australia get the first centre pass. They are leading by 11 goals so far. And they have the first advantage. Liz Watson easily into Conan. Nice one-two using the triangle. And there's their first goal. South Africa first centre pass. Oh, hi. But oh, here comes Brucey. She got that one. Look at that one again. Clean interception and picks up the loose ball. Australia turnover. Oh, almost there. And so me tried. Kara Conan will get a nice easy shot under the post. Now let's play a game. Where is Kara Conan going? Is she going this way or is she going this way? Let us know in the comments. Three, two, one. Okay, Kara Conan feeds the ball. And an incredible drive by her all the way to the post. Let's watch that one again. Amazing vision by both her and the center. So, South Africa have the ball in the attack. Maseko is moving it around. Nice one-two from her. Gets her closer to the post. Lovely play by South Africa. They're just struggling a little bit this quarter to get it into the circle. Australian defense putting a lot of pressure on. Finds Venter at the top of the circle with a great shot for her. Oh, that was a great turnover for South Africa. They have the ball in attack. Maseko looking for someone to pass to. Finally finding Venter. South Africa need this turnover to close that gap. Australia now 12 goals in front. Oh, and it's immediately turned over by Australia. Anything you can do, we can do better. Great, great ball into Wallum. Oh, it's very unusual that she would step in like that. Unfortunately, the defender got the contact. Normally, if you do step in, the defender can stay and hold their ground, so to speak, without getting the penalty. Oh, and South Africa have turned the ball over. Carla Pretorius in possession. Nicholas Smith finds Chiwene in the goal third. What can Maseko do? Nice bounce pass out and lovely vision into Venter and a great goal for South Africa. So it is 14 goals here. Courtney Bruce gets possession. Australia with a turnover. Look at the speed that ball moves down the midcourt and into the goal third. And what an incredible passage of play for an Australian side. Great swing over to Liz Watson and another great play from them. 
Connor with the back line. Oh, good job, Nicola Smith. She's got two touches so far to that ball. She's not letting that ball in easily. She's working hard. Good job, South Africa. They've got the ball in the attack. It is their chance. Oh, we didn't even see that pass there because of the angle. <laughs> Bruce didn't like that one. Let's have a look at her face. Umpire didn't give a too short pass. Oh, that was beautiful by Conan. Excellent movement into the circle for her. Maseko almost out of court. Looking for Venter, but finds Chiweni at the edge of the circle. Oh, Australian defenders really putting the pressure on now. South Africa can't get it into the circle. They cannot find a way. Oh, and they've lost it. Australia doing an excellent job in their defense. So here they are in attack. And oh, that was a contact call against Hadley. She pushed off the side of M. Somi. We can see that again there. So South Africa get the turnover. Can they convert? They've got the opportunity now to get that ball down the court. Pretorius right up at the transverse line, helping out the attack. Chawenny in the pocket. Oh, she tries to feed it in, but there's no one there. So Australia get the turnover. Conan trying to find one of her teammates to pass to. But unfortunately, Wallam got the contact against Maweni. So South Africa get the ball back. They need to get the ball down the court. Not so much movement here by the attackers. That was a footwork by Pretorius. And Australia get the ball back again into the goal third. Conan with a nice easy pass to her. And she gets the goal. South Africa trying to put it into Maseko. She'll get the penalty pass or shot. She gives it to Venter who gets a nice goal under the post. Wow, beautiful feed. But Ariang was there. Contact against her. So South Africa get a nice easy feed into the circle. Let's look at that one again. Oh, too late there. She tried to get the interception but delayed. Wow, incredible passage of play by South Africa. Probably the best we've seen yet today. Beautiful ball into Wallum. And South Africa are here in the attack. Maseko going back to the transverse line. Nobody coming really forward for that ball. Maseko again in the corner. Looks for Venter. Finally finds her. And South Africa do well to keep hold of that one. Sunday Ariane gives to Wallum. Conan on the baseline. Smith a little bit too late there, but nice ball into Wallum under the post. Just under three minutes left here. South Africa are 20 goals behind now. So let's see what's going to happen before the half time. Unfortunately, Maseko was out of court before she picked the ball. So it was a turnover to Australia. So here they are in the attack. What can Kara Conan do? She's looking for Wallum. Wallum's going for a long range shot. Misses. Oh, is that South Africa back line? Yes, South Africa turnover. Great ball into Venter. Beautiful shot. And South Africa here again with the back line. Oh, luckily it was picked up by Venter. She goes for the shot. Great shot from her. 40 seconds left. What can Maseko do? Oh, not sure if that was a pass or a shot, but Australia get the back line. Great movement through court. It's already in the goal third. He's already at the circle edge and Wallum was there with a nice little pop out the front. Conan into Wallum. Oh, she kept out of that one with nine seconds left. Are we going to see one more goal? No, we are not. So halftime score is 42 goals to Australia, 22 to South Africa. They have a 20 goal difference here. Let's take a look at the stats. And one interesting thing popping out to me is the turnover rate by South Africa. 21 turnovers, but they are still 20 goals behind. Now, let's imagine they'd converted all of those turnovers and this would be a much different game by now. Shooting accuracy is good, 92% and 91%. And Australia there with eight gains. If you're enjoying the content, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Netball TV, your Netflix of netball. A lot of changes coming into the third quarter as we see Jamie Lee Price going to centre, Matilda Garrett coming on at goal defence. And the two Sophies take the shooters, goal attack, goal shooter, Sophie Dwyer and Sophie Garbin. Sarah Klau at goalkeeper and Amy Parmenter at wing defence for Australia. And for South Africa, we see a new centre, Nketo on. And Msomi moves to wing attack. Into the third quarter we go. South Africa with the first centre pass. What can the girls do to settle those nerves? And try to close that gap down. Fighting over the ball there with Garrett. But they find Venter. Sarah Clow going for that one. But penalty pass. 
Australia, a little bit too much on that one, but it was picked up nicely by Garbin. And she's put it straight into the hands of Carla Pretoria. So South Africa get a turnover. Lovely ball into Venter and they get a goal. It is their possession. Oh, A.B. Parmenter was there with the turnover. She's looking and hunting today, trying to claim her wing defence spot. So Australia in attack, the two Sophies yet to get a goal, but Sophie Garvin under the post and that'll be their first one. Australia in attack. Oh, lovely feed up to Garvin. She plays a great holding shooter. Let's see what Australia can do with it. South Africa in attack. Oh, and it's a turnover to Australia. Oh, so unlucky for South Africa. So the Diamonds back in attack. It's going up again to Garbin and they get another goal. Again, that big feed into Garbin. Moweni and Nicola Smith having to do something about her to close her down. South Africa feeding the ball around to Msame. Lovely one too into Maseko and she gets a good goal. South Africa center pass. Pretorius, great ball. Oh, super speed here. Steps in, gets a good shot. Australia in attack. Oh, it's going up to Garbin again. This time Nicholas Smith was there, but it was a contact against her. So South Africa. Oh, unlucky there. There was nobody there. Australia get the turnover. Parmenta with a rocket ball across the court. Garrett. Wow, incredible play by Australia. That was very confident, very fast play all the way through the court. Oh, Sophie Dwyer with a miss, but she gets the rebound. And South Africa are back in attack. Oh, they made a mistake here again. So Australia turnover. Garbin, top of the circle. Dwyer's going to go for the shot. Gives it to Garbin over the top. Australia now at 51 goals to 26. Oh, unlucky there. They almost got attached to that one. Feeding it around the circle. Bit of a deflection. Looks like we have a new goal defense about to take the court. Van Wyk is replacing Nicholas Smith, who moves to goalkeeper, and Moweni takes the bench. What can these two youngsters do in the circle against the Diamonds? Australia working really hard to get that ball back. Unfortunately, didn't make that one, but Mseko and Msome having a good go at getting it in the circle, and Venta was there. She'll have a go to close the gap and she gets the goal. Maseko, wow, lightning ball speed so far in the attacking end for South Africa. Maseko trying to get that one too, but Klaus' leg was blocking her, but she gets a good pass to Venta. Let us know in the comments what you think about this one. Look at those shooting stats here. Maseko, 89%. Venta on 95 Garbin gets a nice easy one under the post. And Venter going for another long one. Beautiful shooting by her. Oh, that's a great turnover by Nicholas Smith. South Africa in possession. 12 pickups for Australia in this half. And another one just there by Amy Parmenter. Good job, Amy. Trying to feed it into Garbin. She finds Garbin. And it's another goal for Australia. Maseko coming into the corner. Long ball over the court. And Venter holding a beautiful space to get a good ball behind Clow. Great play by Australia, but it's a backline pass for South Africa. So they will get another chance. Oh, that's a turnover there, but it wasn't because she contacted her. <laughs> so South Africa are back in possession again. Less than five minutes to go in the third quarter. Oh, lucky Pretorius chased that ball down then, keeping the possession Diamonds. Oh, that one was a turnover. Maybe not. <laughs> a lot of balls going backwards and forwards here. Yo-yo from Australia to South Africa. Their attack. Maseko finds Msami in the corner. And Venter. Oh, that was an unlucky miss for her. Not usual. But Maseko gets the back line to Venter. And she gets another shot. Three minutes left here. Great ball to Watson in the corner. She finds Garbin. Oh, Nicholas Smith gets that one. Clean interception. Great work by her. Quick hands by Mseko. And we have South Africa looking to get closer to the post. Mseko, great movement by Vento. That was very patient work by South Africa. And they're back in attack again. Mseko holding a space, but Vento was there in incredible space behind. Two minutes left in the third quarter and Australia, oh, that was picked up by South Africa. Lucky for them. They get another turnover. 
Coming into the final minutes of the third quarter, what can they do with a 21? Oh, almost 20 goal difference, but Australia get the rebound. So can they convert this goal? It is 55-34 to Australia. Sophie Dwyer going for a shot and gets a beautiful goal. The Proteus in attack. Venter looking for someone. No one there. Amy Palminter almost had that one. Maseko is trying to find someone to give it to. Oh, she managed to find herself closer to the post there and gets a good goal. Australia. Oh, Garbin. She holds an excellent space right underneath that post to make it easy for her. Venter, great ball speed by South Africa. Incredible play from them. And they get a good goal. Three-quarter time here in Australia. Score is 57 goals to 36 as we enter the fourth quarter. Australia, very dominant so far. Oh, that was a huge crash by Liz Watson. Australia still in possession. Finding Sophie Garbin under the post. She missed. That was unlikely for her. And she gets the next one in. So South Africa have a lot of work to do, but I'm sure they're not going to give up. Venter going for a long range shot and misses, goes for another shot. Oh, and misses again. Unfortunately, doesn't get the rebound, so Australia get the turnover. Well, that was a huge ball across the circle. Oh, great, great turnover. Van Wyk finally getting her hands on that ball. And look at that phenomenal speed down the court by South Africa. An incredible feed into the circle. Great play. And even in that final quarter, another turnover for them. Pretorius picked up that loose ball. Again, super speed through the court. I think we're going to have to watch that one again. It's not over yet, folks. South Africa are wanting that ball. They are thirsty. Oh, picked up, but... <laughs> Maseko gave a little clap there to the umpire. She was happy with that call. Oh, and we finally see her trademark move from the previous game. A little pass to the post to get herself in court. Australia almost touching 60 goals with 12 minutes left to go in this final quarter. They'll be wanting to put the pedal down and go full on to South Africa. Oh, Garbin managed to get it back to Dwyer. She missed that shot and South Africa get the rebound. Momentum slightly swinging in South Africa favor. That was a beautiful feed. Let's watch that one again. Great vision into the circle. South Africa center pass here. What can they do? There's just 11 minutes left and let's freeze for a second here. Just look at those quarterly scores. Quarter three, South Africa just one goal behind. And this quarter, they are four goals to one. Make that five goals to one. Last 10 goals, five goals run for South Africa. Incredible work by the Proteus. Let's hope they can keep it up in this last quarter. Australian Diamonds in possession. Sophie Dwyer just working her way nicely in. Doesn't want to go for the long range shot. Australia get the back line. She gives it over to Garbin who gets a nice shot under the post. South Africa in attack. Oh, beautiful turn at the back by Venter. She's had such an incredible game and an incredible series from her. Wow, rocket pass there <laughs> from Jamie Lee Price. She did well to get that one. Garbin was almost surprised. Maseko on the edge of the circle feeds it around to Nketso and great ball up to Venter. She's going to take the shot and beautiful goal. South Africa still working so hard oh and it's turned over by Dwyer Australia back in possession and oh out of court Sophie Garbin going for the nice shot wow rocket pass over to the side of the court and Australia wow beautiful ball in from Sophie Dwyer that was incredible the Proteus great feed over the top to Venter Sarah Clow couldn't get to that one so South Africa dominating the feeds this quarter. Oh, a lucky miss there. And Australia get the rebound and the turnover. Here they are in attack. Sophie Dwyer, she's going to go for the shot or give it to Garbin. Oh, almost out of court. She got a penalty pass or shot. So 66 goals to 44. Out of court, South Africa back line. Oh, and it's a foul. She had her foot inside but outside of the court and obviously not allowed to go there. 
So, South Africa, five minutes left in this quarter. Australia, great feed up to Garbin from Sophie Dwyer. That was beautiful. Looks like we've got some movement on the South Africa bench. Talia taking the court at goal attack. We haven't seen her since the first game. Oh, and she's already made a mistake. Maybe a little bit of nerves there. Let's hope she gets settled before the end of the game. Garbin, easy shot for her under the post. And lovely ball over the top to Dwyer, running the baseline. So, Taliad, lovely ball into the pocket to Chawane. And she will not get her first one. She'll pass it to Venter, who gets the goal. Oh, almost gets a miss. Two minutes left here on the clock. Australia just working that ball down into Garbin. And look at that score breakdown here. 16 goals to 13 in this last quarter. South Africa are not giving up, but they are throwing the ball out of court. Australia Diamonds in the attack. Some of the final plays we see of the game now. Dwyer going for a long range. Oh, lucky for her, she gets it in. Beautiful ball into Garbin. One minute left. Oh, and Amy Parmenter with another turnover. Another incredible feed into Garbin. And Australia are just relentless even with 40 seconds left to go and almost a 30 goal lead they are not letting up at all oh garbin get a big hit then 20 seconds left here on the clock what can south africa do can they get one more goal oh beautiful movement there and she's gonna get her goal yes she is so final score here 77 goals to 50 for south africa the Diamonds will be very, very happy with their performance over this test series. Finally, they can have a break after playing 19 international games this year. The future is not so certain for a lot of these Diamonds players as they still haven't signed their CPA for the Suncorp Super Netball League. But we wish them congratulations for winning this test series and winning absolutely everything they've tried to get this year. Trophy cabinet is full once again. Congratulations to the Australia Origin Diamonds. And of course, congratulations to South Africa who put on an almighty performance against the world champs and will be very, very proud of themselves going away and looking at that footage. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the footage. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Netball TV your Netflix of netball.